Oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mad God Machinations. I am, of course, the Mad God. Today, I'm playing a bit more Hearts of Iron 4 with our glorious Iraqi nation. Uh, we're not really focusing on the politics or the fighting yet. We're, we're thinking about our industrial base, so we're working on that. We've got a nice bunch of factories going. We've got a nice bit of trade going for a change, which is fucking fantastic. Uh, we're currently shipping uh, a bunch of oil to Yugoslavia, Turkey, and Finland, our glorious Iraqi crude, which is great. <laughs> um, so, if they need... Vehicles and tanks. I'm the guy to come to. Mm, Iran has a lot. I imagine... I wonder if you could see where they're trading. Nope. Can't see any of that shit. Exported 32, but I couldn't tell you who they're shipping to. Ah. It would be kind of cool to sort of be able to... Like a in, more in-depth level of intelligence, but I'm not sure if that was the case at this point in time. Uh, we can sort of see, well, we believe that they're shipping to here, so if you attack here, you actually cripple another nation, and sort of see that impact. But that's quite a level of depth that I probably would never use. <laughs> Let's be honest, I get confused by the basic one already, so yeah. Uh, we still have more uh, civilian factories on the way. I'm focusing on them ahead of military factories, because I just am. <laughs> I need a bit more space in my nation. Uh, we do have a lot of defensive structures we want to build. And infrastructure and planes and anti-air guns. Uh, well, how big is Iran's air force at this stage? They have a lot of planes. So they are going plane heavy. Turkey? More traditional? Saudi Arabia, I'm going to have to kick the shit out of because <laughs> they just got nothing going for them right now. So Saudi Arabia are, could be my bitch. How are Yemen sitting? Also could be my bitch. Oman? Could be my bitch. So these could be my bitches. And I could sort of take this peninsula, tank up here, and then go bulldoze somebody else because I'm nice like that. Um, hmm. Will require a lot of people. I really wish you could deploy, like, uh, edit here. Like, stick in, like, a military police battalion and just send them around like that. But, no, I guess not. We're not even, we're not even at the military research stage at this point. It's 1937. I am not rushing to war. This is going to be a bit of a slow burn on that. It's kind of play for ladies and gentlemen. But I enjoy spending time with you. So, I hope you do too. I hope you enjoy spending time with yourself because you're lovely people. <laughs> Controlling that straight would be fun. Just for the crack of it. There's so many research. Ah, oh, all the chromium. Look at all that chromium. I could be a massive chromium importer if I really wanted to. If I took on Turkey, which I don't necessarily want to because I have oil. Well, they buy my precious oils. I have a surplus of five steel at the moment, which is kind of nice. It's nice to sort of sit in a nice surplus. Uh, production. Guns have now been filled. We no longer need any guns, so we are now stockpiling. We have now unlocked something new in this. So, world tension is only at 2% because nobody's doing anything, which is kind of... I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, military designer. Artillery. We do have artillery unlocked. We actually had technology this time. It was weird. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about this whole thing. Tank designers, mm, ship designers, mm, plane designers, maybe? Material. Motorized equipment, infantry equipment. Theorist, military feelmist. Army experience, land doctrine research time. I'm thinking land doctrine is going to be pretty big for us, considering what I'm planning, so we'll maybe unlock that for the moment. Um, yeah. As the moment, we are focusing on industry just because. Uh, we'll soon get concentrated in industry, which will bump up a uh, number of factories we can have in a state, which will be great. Uh, we can build refineries and um, also faster construction. We'll also have a more factory output, which would mean more guns, which would mean more troops, which would make me happier. Having a... I need a big stockpile. I kind of wish you could trade this stuff. It's a bit annoying that you can't set that, like... Is there a trade for that? Days, months, years stored... No, there's no trade option that I've ever seen for guns and stuff. I guess that maybe they might release that as DLC, like an advanced market for military arms dealing, or I just haven't seen it yet, and I'm an idiot. This is, could very well be a thing. I know you can just give stuff to people. Uh, so you can go diplomacy. Uh, send equipment. If you have it, send it kind of thing. But. Eh, 
So you need world tension of 40%. So because I'm so unaligned, I can't actually do anything. Oh, cool. That's concentrated industry up. And what's next? Concentrated industry 2. Refineries. Ooh. Let's go for this. Go. So, with that, we should now have more factories that I'd be in the state. No, apparently not. <laughs> okay. Have to wait. Have to wait for other research, I'm guessing. Or until we go to war. It's not like a massive priority that I build the refineries. I just want them for the, the trade bumps that I get. Have it, uh, People, the AI seem to only want to trade in eights. They don't really want the twos and the ones and that kind of shit. Oh, you can see who they're doing here. Ah, oh, I'm fucking stupid, aren't I? Uh, so you pick a resource and see, right, who are Iran actually trading? Um, so we know Iran has oil. So we'll go to oil. We'll go to the Middle East. Iran. Who are Iran shipping to? China, Bulgaria, Greece, and Poland. That's who they're helping out. That's interesting. I find it interesting. Hindenburg disaster. Oh, no, Tanner. Um, I don't massively care. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't massively care, but I don't massively care. Um, I should get this. Because it just helps everything else down the line. So, where was I? Oh, yes, trade. So, we're looking at Iran. They are trading with China. Yeah, the AI only trades in eights. They don't want the ones and the twos. So, China, Bulgaria, Greece, and Poland. Hmm. So, China's going to get fucked up by Japan soon enough, if Japan stick to the, the game plan, which they're not at the moment, actually. Japan's been fairly chill. So, Bulgaria might last a while. Excuse me. Uh, Greece, that will be an interesting trade partner. Uh, Japan, what is Japan up to? Chinese border, there we go. So, they're actually currently working on fucking over China. Um... Requires Chinese border. This focus will cancel. Pre in fact, China gets a, a puppet of Japan. So do the warlords. Oh, so. What? Requires Ch event. Germany's uh, military mission to China. Find our faction. That's weird. <laughs> that that seems like an odd kind of. So you go fuck off Germany. They, if they approve for it. Oh no, sorry. It's, it's Chinese German ties. That's my bad. Sorry, I, I misread that entirely. That made no sense, but now it does because I'm, I'm thinking I'm looking at China. It's Japan, of course. But France, okay. They just... It's actually Indian National Army. Is it war? Okay. Hmm. I, it's, just, it's really interesting to kind of see what Japan gets. I will so at some point go there. I've just wasted time. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's like, oh, 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 yeah, there's stuff I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, yeah, I want to get the factories in place so then when I get the research going, things go well. Hmm. 21 days, we'll have construction level 2, uh, which, will be, uh, which will be good. Faster stuff. Always fun. Getting those factories churning out and churning out and churning out. Uh, in terms of our next kind of civilian economy, that's not changing right now. Uh, Soviet Union is doing stuff. Japanese buildup. Okay. Oh. So stuff's going on over there. I don't really care. Uh, free trade is great. We're fine on that. Volunteer only. We could only go, we could go with the limited conscription, but at the moment not really a thing that we need we will do that at some point I may start saving political power I don't know I don't know ladies and gentlemen I really don't know there's a lot of if ands and buts kind of go like everyone seems fairly chilled at the moment and that's kind of worrying me army innovations where is that what do they get army experience treaty with the USSR ah that's never a fun day <laughs> Access commenter and being chums. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. That might fuck up my plans down the line. <laughs> Unless I set up my own little fascist alliance again and start taking on like Iran and Saudi Arabia. Because I don't know. This is a question. As a non-aligned nation, who would you go to war with? Like, if I get ahead, you can't join anybody. 
I don't think I don't think I can join anybody. I need to have research first of all, so priorities. But um, let's get this going. I just want to get this industrial stuff out of the way, so then, then I can focus on military without having to worry. Uh, yeah, so what I can do, could I... Oh no, um, I am Gazi the first. Well done me. Uh, do, 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 do. I can force another government. If I go to the Axis, let's say... Join faction. I need world tension at 40%. So, if world tension isn't at 40%, Non-aligned nations cannot join a faction. Which means if I can build up my army before 40% hits, I can fuck up Saudi Arabia. And not have to worry. And then if I chill the fuck out, and no one does anything, I can then fuck up Yemen and Oman. But, if at that point, tension is at over 40%, any time I go to fight anybody, they can then go, oh no, I'm an ally now. Or I'm an Axis, or I'm a Nazi, or whatever. Hmm. A day night cycle still on? Ally battle plans, toggle you set. Never mind. Good, it's not. Um, hmm. So that's a, that's a bit of a, a, a ticking clock at the moment, then. They just had the Chinese border incident, so... Literally, there we go. <laughs> uh, interesting. So until 40% happens... All the non-aligns are kind of stuck. But once that happens, hmm. Hmm. We're about to get start getting some military factories on the go, which is always fun, although we may not need them. We can pump up our gun production. That's for sure. So I should get that just immediate go. We, we've filled up on our infantry equipment at the moment, so... We've got a pretty decent stockpile, actually. Uh, I, or... Hang on. Pause. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's just always checking. I could start making artillery. I would need to start shipping in... Uh, art... Mm, tungsten. Yeah, I'm gonna ship in tungsten. <laughs> uh, everybody. Who should I be trading tungsten with? Who's got the money, first of all? Or who's got the, the goods? Who the fuck are you? I need to figure out the, where they are. I'm, I'm guessing it's somewhere in Asia, but just by the... There it is. Jesus, that's a rich fucking country. Oh, you lucky bastards. So, actually, trading with them, who are they? Who? Non-aligned faction. They're just a guy. Yeah, I'm going to trade with them. Fuck's sake, yeah. Uh, you guys... I would very much like some tungsten. Please. Do I not? I don't have the... That's the thing. So. <laughs> I need to wait till the factory's actually built before I start chipping in tungsten. Is the factory now built? No. Because that's the wrong one. That's the one I'm after. Eventually I will use my brain, ladies and gentlemen. And on that day... Oh! Oh, it'll be a scary day that day. <laughs> <laughs> now we need to trade. Now we go to you for our tungsten needs. Thank you. Send. There we go. Need a new national focus because uh, we've got armaments. Uh, let's get that going. We've now got another thing there. No template. I know there's no template, but I just want to get a stockpile. Um, Artillery designer actually might not be too bad. Let's get that. So, when it comes to research and artillery, we'll just go, 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 go. I think we may have to go for Fat Man Yoga technique again. Uh, potentially. Not yet, we're only 1937. I have a no fucking rush. But, <laughs> planning, planning, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're back in these guys. I wonder who else is trading with them. I'm, uh, I'm generally really curious about these people now. They do not have oil. They do not have aluminium. They do not have rubber. They do have tungsten. Who are they train tungsten with? Us and Siam. We got improved machine tools. I need to pause and go do research. That is off. That is off. Let's get that, because that could come in more handy. Um, it is a weird thing I keep doing that, I know, but I think it's a good idea. 
So they're trading with Siam at the moment. So tungsten. Steel. They are trading with a lot of people. Greece, Estonia, uh, Argentina, and Mexico. Okay, and chromium. They're trading with nobody. Is there no market for chromium? Export. Wow, there is nobody's currently using chromium at the moment. It is a complete... Oh, no, except Japan. Italy and the German Reich. Interesting. So they've, they've excused everybody else. Possibly for tactical reasons. Yes, tactical reasons mean that's why they're trading with... They're only trading with uh, relevant nations. Okay. You guys... These guys are really... I might play as these people at some point. Because they're... Why did I not play as these guys? They're not... Do they have anything cool? No, they're just they're just a standard small nation. But... Like... They're not really in anything. That's, that's cool. Huh. That's an interesting nation. If you want to go pick fights, you've got a few, like Yunnan and China, obviously. You're not going to get a lot of punching. Philippines you go to war with, but they are no faction. But they're democratic, so they're definitely going to go. Oh, uh, no. They're a puppet. So the Americans will have words to say if you go into the Philippines. Uh, Philippines. Sorry. Philippines? Philippines. My apologies to any uh, Filipinos out there who have to be watching. Uh, civilian economy. Minus 30%. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so civilian economy is fucking me over right now. Is that it? Yeah, it really is. Fuck's sake. Oh, god damn. Get me some fucking tension. Do I need to build the tension? I may need to build the tension. Um, to my infantry. I could give them artillery. Or I could just attach. Mm, these are choices now. I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll build up my stockpiles and then I'll deploy. Uh, we don't have any need for these. But having them makes me feel so much better. The fact that I already have some ready to go. <laughs> because it... Remember when I was playing as... Oh, who was it again? It was Ireland, yeah. And I just ran out of artillery and I couldn't fight anybody. Uh, France and Britain have joined up. Uh, Japanese are going to fuck up China soon enough. Cool. Japan is declaring war on Shang Yi. Uh, they don't matter to me. China. So those two are not at war with these guys. Okay. And Guku, who are you at war with? You're fascist. And your puppets in Japan. That's why you're in. Oh, it's actually you, Mengoku. I'm probably saying that wrong as well, and I apologize. Um, no division training. No template. Don't care. Don't care. Trade-wise, trade-wise, trade-wise. Still got the same trade partners. Need more to produce more oil. Can I yet build my glorious um, refineries? No, no, not space. Sad faces. Uh, armament is bumping up. With this done, armament free. Uh, ar three, sorry, three. Uh, get that done. Where am I going to go next then? Could go into politics. Nah, I'll probably go into military research so I can build up quick. Um... See, once the world, like, we're not 25%, so once that hits 40, I can join a faction. And just go, hey, I want in. And if they let me in, then, yeah, hello, I'm now in the Axis, despite the fact I'm not really fascist. Uh, declared war in Saudi Arabia, come at me, bros. <laughs> what? Insufficient resources? Tungsten? Hang on. Did something happened to the, uh, China? When the fuck did that happen? <sighs> right then, I need a new supplier. It's not going to be China, because they just fucked me over. You dicks. Uh, National Spain, I could help them out. God knows they need it. Right, how about National Spain? So, I don't need a ton of tungsten right now, so... That's cool. So, yes, let's go for this. Get all my military factories. I now have two. I can I produce that fairly quick? Can I produce you fairly quick, actually? There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't know why I'm looking at Greece, but <laughs> I was looking at the left hand side of the screen. Which is, oh, I'm, I'm on Greece. Apparently, I'm on holiday. Oil plant number two. Ooh, 
Nash of Spain just won. Thanks to me, obviously. Oh, there we go. And oh, everything's happening at once there, ladies and gentlemen. The end of the Spanish Civil War and the end of this part. So thank you very much for watching. And of course, be my guys, be mad gun, my conditions, playing Hearts of Iron 4. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you all next time.